Yeah, I think vague is a, a fair description in terms of this. It is essentially a set of guidelines uh, that will potentially be pursued by member states, although it does seem to provide some political cover for Angela Merkel, for Giuseppe Conte, and indeed for some other member states. What they've said they are going to do is to try and strengthen the role of the Libyan Coast Guard, the European Commission promising to spend half a billion euros more in Sahel, in sub-Saharan Africa, to try and prevent the push factors that drive many economic migrants to make that hazardous journey across the desert and the Mediterranean. In terms of the Libyan Coast Guard operations, they want the NGO vessels operating in that part of the Mediterranean to no longer obstruct their efforts. That, of course, is something that will make Matteo Salvini, the Italian interior minister, particularly happy. And someone else who seems relatively satisfied with this outcome is Angela Merkel, who will, of course, go back to Berlin and have something to show to Horst Seehofer, the head of the CSU, that she has made a good faith effort to try and curb some of the secondary migration. Let's take a listen to how she responded overnight. Overall, I believe that it sends a good message that we came to a joint decision after intensive discussions on a theme that's probably the most challenging for the European Union. I'm optimistic that after today we will really continue to work, even though we have a lot to do in bridging the different points of view. Now, it's worth pointing out we have seen uh, migration flows drop dramatically since their peak several years ago. The major number is still in that central Mediterranean area travelling from North Africa into Italy, but there's been increasing numbers also arriving in Spain from Morocco. So we heard from the Council in its conclusion text that they would also be stepping up support to both of those countries to try and prevent that. That meant that Pedro Sanchez, the Italian leader, uh, the Spanish leader, I should say, was also relatively happy with the conclusion. Take a listen to what he said. I think it is good news for Spain in the sense that the conclusion from the Council recognises the intensity of the flux of migrants in the Western Mediterranean. It recognises the work that Spain as a country is doing to tackle the migrant flux and the Council promises, as well as the other EU financial institutions, to help organise the flux of migrants that arrive to Spain and as well as in the countries where migrants transit, such as Morocco. So that's the west of the Mediterranean basin. Further east, of course, a lot of European officials ahead of the meeting and over the past few weeks have held up the European deal with Turkey on migration as a model for what could be replicated elsewhere, including in Africa. And they said they insisted in this conclusion text that Turkey had to do more to really halt all migrant flows. They've dropped precipitously since that deal was struck, but to halt them all together and also to try and prevent any new routes, either by land or by sea, from opening up, guys. Um does this save Angela Merkel's government? It's a very difficult question for me to answer. It certainly seems, based on what's gone on here in terms of the new approach to processing asylum seekers that will be shared, the language is very vague in that section of the conclusion, but it does seem like she will have some wiggle room both to make the kind of bilateral deals that she talked about after Sunday's emergency summit here in Brussels, but also to try and take more control of her own internal borders while talking about control of the Schengen Agreement, saving that concept of free movement, very, very critical, of course, to European identity for many member states. We'll really find out, I guess, over the weekend, Jeff, whether she sits down with Horst Seehofer, whether she has got enough in terms of her back pocket to keep him happy. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.